Hello and welcome to another episode. This is Nostalgic Knickknacks, my retro gaming, perler beating YouTube channel. My name is Ryan. Thanks so much for being here. I've got a great video for you today. We are going to be making Final Fantasy VI perler bead art. I'm very excited about this. I hope you are. We're going to be making some wonderful characters. This is actually going to be part one of about a three part series on making these iconic characters from Final Fantasy VI. We have Locke Cole, Celeste, Edgar, the King of Figaro, Cyan, the best swordsman ever, and of course we have Saban. Saban is Edgar's brother, martial artist extreme. And we have Terra, who I guess you could say is really the main character of this story, but it really is an ensemble. I was first introduced to Final Fantasy VI when I was probably about nine years old. I love everything about it. The characters are not necessarily good or bad. They have a little bit of in-between and there's a lot of dynamics throughout the story. To really understand these characters, yes, please take the time, play this game. So that's a little bit about Final Fantasy VI. You're going to need some boards, some beads, you also need ironing paper. I like to use tweezers like this for my perler beading. So make sure you have an iron ready. I like to use the Cricut Mini. Make sure you have some heavy books. They always help with pressing down your projects after ironing. Uh, one disclaimer on the beads. So for a few of these characters like Cyan, You'll see that there's a light blue sort of bead. Now this bead is actually called Periwinkle Blue. Periwinkle Blue was one of the colors that was discontinued this year by Perler. So I stocked up on it. Not to worry though, if you don't have Periwinkle Blue, you can always substitute Blueberry cream. I think that's about everything you're going to need for this project. Let's go ahead and get into the beading. I want to jump in here and say one thing I am going to do because these have stands with them. I'm going to make sure that I take out 
two beads from the bottom of each character because I have found that you have a more solid foundation when you have an area in the middle that the beads, there can be essentially two different feet. So please do that with yours. It will make things a whole lot better. All right, so we've got our characters, we've got our stands, now is the time to put everything together and finish our project. Here is Locke, we're going to put him in his light gray, perfect, very nice, Cyan, perfect, Saban, the main man here. Great. Perfect. And Terra. Queen of the Espers. They just turn out so well. Move over, Terra. Let's have Edgar get a look. Get a look at Edgar here. Love these guys. Can't wait for part two. And that's it. That's all there is to it. And before you know it, you have some wonderful Final Fantasy VI further characters displayed on your shelf. 
anywhere you want to put them. You could also put a magnet on them if you don't want to make the stands. And you could even make them into gigantic keychains if you wish. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to take a moment and like it. And also, please subscribe if you want to see more perler beating content or you enjoy retro video games and enjoy celebrating the art of the past. I appreciate all of you. And before you go, Cyan says, happy beating.